Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today on my channel we are going to be talking about five favorites and one regret for the month of January. If you are new to my channel, every month at the end of the month I sit down and I pick five items that I'm absolutely loving from that month that just went by and maybe one thing that didn't work out the way I thought it should. Now typically I will say I usually have a lot of fashion items in there but this month I am almost all beauty except for one thing. If you are new around here, I would love if you subscribed and followed along here on my channel so you get to see these videos every month. So let's jump right into it. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is an item if you are following me on Instagram and or if you have already watched my video about this, and this is a product called the Volum. Can you see these little, they're like, crisscross pattern type of like plates on this thing. So what this does, I will lift my hair up and show you. You can probably see it on some of the hair. Can you see these pieces? It's just a little section through here. And then I do the same thing on this side. Can you see those? So what this does, you go through, you curl all of your hair, okay? I mean, the volume this thing gives is crazy crazy. I am in love with this. I still use a volume spray here or there, but like today I washed my hair last night, curled my hair this morning, let the curls sit for a few minutes, and then I go through and use this bad boy. So I have the standard size. There's a petite version and a standard size. I got the standard size because I have a lot of hair and I wasn't sure which way to go. You can buy this at Amazon or Walmart. I think I got mine on Amazon. I think I did. It was on a sale, I think is what put me over the edge. But I had heard people talk about this and I was like, really? Come on. What could it do? Guys, it is that good. I will link my video exactly of how I use this down below if you are interested. But this thing is so good. The next item is an item that I had seen. I think it was Courtney Kerr on Instagram talking about this and I was like, that is not going to work for me. I am an oily skin type person and typically I have a hard time with highlighters or anything that has too much of a sheen or a shimmer to it. But I kept seeing her using it and I was like, all right, I'm gonna give it a try. It's by a brand called Iconic and it is the Illuminator and I got the original color and this is what it looks like. This is all I have on today for a highlighter, guys. I have it on my brow bone, I have it on my cheekbone, and at the cupid's bow of my lip. It's beautiful, guys. It is so, so, so natural looking. So it comes in a little dropper form and the dropper itself is a glass dropper. So this little piece, so you, I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, the dropper does pick up product. So I have never had to use the actual, this part of the dropper yet. I just simply take it and I'll put a dot down and then I just blend it in as the last thing at the end of it. Like it's just beautiful. So pretty. You need such a tiny, tiny, tiny amount. I mean, look at that glow. And that's the thing is I am 47 years old and I have combination oily skin. So I want something that is going to make my skin look healthy and dewy and younger, fresher, healthier. The younger we are, the more collagen we have in our skin, the more hydration we have in our skin, the plumper our skin looks, the healthier our skin looks. So this mimics that, okay? So it just hits you at the high planes of your face and it gives a very liquid look. It does not look like you put a highlighter on in certain areas. It just looks like the high planes of your face. I am obsessed with this. Now it does come in other colors, so if you are interested, definitely go check this out. I got mine at Sephora, and I was gonna go in and check them out in store, but they didn't have them in the store, so I trusted it and went with the original, and I'm so glad I did. Like, I just, I'm just so obsessed with it. There's no way to say it. Next thing I wanna talk about is a lipstick that I've had for a little bit. I got it end of summer, and it is by Tarte, and it's this pretty blue packaging, and the color is the key point, and it is what I have on right now, and it is a color called Salt Life. It is a beautiful, beautiful, plummy pink color. Typically, I wouldn't wear this as much in the summer, but actually, you know, I take that back. It also comes in a gloss, guys. I have the gloss too, but literally, all I have on was a lip plumper, and then I put this on my lips. Earlier today, 
It is just, they're so smooth, so creamy. It's just a hint of color. I don't know. It just, I am loving it. I, it's so moisturizing. Like you can carry it around with you. You don't need a gloss with it. It just feels so, so nice. I am loving that lipstick so much. It's like, next time they have a sale, I need to grab another one. It's that good. The next item I'm gonna talk about is a product that you would have recently, if you're interested, seeing a wear test video on this product. It is the Laura Mercier, and it is the Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Concealer in the color 2C. This is what it looks like. It's kind of like an oval packaging. It's not your typical round one. This concealer, guys, it has a great combination of coverage, but it's not too thick of a product, so it doesn't settle into fine lines. It has the right amount of pinky peach color, but the right amount of my skin tone. I am in love with this concealer. I have always had foundations that were like my that's my favorite top three. Concealers I've always bounced back and forth. And since I tried this one, it is definitely going to be one you now see in my top three. It is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful product. I don't think it's sold at Sephora. I think it's just sold at Nordstrom. The next favorite for my month is earrings. So last month I talked to you guys about necklaces. I have been obsessed with hoop earrings, guys. Like, I just, something about them when my hair's up or down, I love the look of it. When my hair's down, I actually prefer a smaller one sometimes. I take that back. I love this one with my hair up as well. I actually own this pair in a smaller pair and in a larger pair as well. I love a good mixed metal pair. This one is a good weighted pair. It is open in the back, which is the only downside with masks right now. It does get caught, so be aware of that. Most of these ones that I'm gonna talk about, actually all of them are open backed ones. I figured I'd show you guys a top four favorites. This being the smallest pair, and I'm gonna work my way up. The next pair is a pair from the brand Gorgiana. Goriana? I'm not exactly sure how to say that. And it is a hooped earring as well. It has these tiny little gold balls all around it, and they do twist some of them. I would say the bigger ones do. Uh, it is absolutely gorgeous earring. You know what? Let me put it on for you. I'll do it that way so we can see what they look like on. This is just a beautiful earring. It was on sale at Nordstrom for $22. It was normally $58, which I think is what maybe I paid. But it's still, so that's what this one looks on. It's just lightweight, it's delicate, it's beautiful. Again, it's open in the back, so be aware of that. But last time I checked, they were on sale at Nordstrom for like $22. Then I'm gonna talk to you about a pair from Amazon. Just a basic gold hoop. Just very simple, not too big, not too small. It is so easy to wear. It just makes you look like you put effort into getting ready. It is just such a pretty size. They are very, very lightweight. I do have a smaller, thicker pair from Amazon as well that are very similar, but I love these. They are just so, so, so simple to wear. See that volume? Even when I push my hair back, I got all that volume to it. The last pair is a pair that I got at Nordstrom. They sell out fast. When they come in stock, they are gone, but they are so, so, so pretty. They have these gorgeous crystals. Can you see it? So they go, the crystals, and then they have gold pieces to them as well. This is a larger hoop than any of the others, but every single time I wear these and when I wear them in a video, you guys compliment me. Like, look how that just peeks out. It is just so pretty on the way it catches the light. It just looks so beautiful. It is a nice dressy earring, or you can wear it with just, I wear it all the time. Let's be honest. It doesn't have to be dressed up to be able to wear it. I wear it all the time, but I have been obsessed with hoops. This is my thing this month. I have just been buying new ones, trying new ones, and I absolutely love them all. Now let's talk about a regret. So my regret for the month, and this video just went up recently, so if you're interested, go check it out. But if you want the short abbreviated version of it, I did not love this. And this is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation with up to a 24 hour wear. Now I do wanna to read to you as well some of the things it says. Flexible, breathable, real skin, matte finish, medium buildable coverage, does not transfer, minimizes the appearance of pores, stays true to color, waterproof, vegan formula, does not contain animal derivative ingredients or byproducts. <sighs> I wanted to love this. I wanted it to go on and be everything it said on the package. I love the Urban Decay Naked Skin, the old one. I love the, um, 
Naked Skin, again, the concealer. I used to love the concealer before they changed it. This was just a big fail for me. If you have tried this and loved it, please leave comments down below so people will be aware. I did have it in the color 40WO. Um, the color match wasn't an issue as much as I just didn't like the way the product wore on me or lasted on me throughout the day. So if you are interested in more information on this, definitely go check out my wear test so you can see exactly what my issues with it were. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It is a quick and fun video for me to make and for you guys to hopefully watch. If you are new, I would love if you subscribed and followed along here. And as always, links for all of these products will be provided down in the description box. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching and sticking with me and have a great day.